I gotta admit, I'm a bit of a sucker when it comes to getting new tech, and especially if it's going to help me out as a video content creator and live streamer. So I'm always on the lookout for some new products. Naturally, my wife and I go visit the local Scene 75, which is like a Dave and Buster's, but a little bit more generic here in the Midwest. And uh, in the display case was this beautiful box right here. And a little bit of skepticism served on the side for my, myself here. Uh, it's from JLab. It's a USB microphone called the Talk Pro. This thing ran me about 30,000 tickets, which is a fair chunk of change. The thing that caught my eye was the fact it says professional grade USB microphone, 192 kilohertz, which is really good, especially if you're wanting to do music or if you sing. This type of uh, recording and sample rate is just absolutely good. Now, when I looked over on Amazon, this uh, product you know, obviously has quite a few good reviews and it sells at a pretty good, decent amount of money. Um, so without any further ado, uh, let's go ahead and do a little bit of an unboxing here. So already I can see on this product here that it's actually got a box on the outside of the box. So it looks like it'll slip off. Let's go ahead and crack this open. All right, came off real easy like. So we've got the full box here. Nothing too fancy. Okay, let's go ahead and open it up, see how it looks. There we go. Alrighty. Get the first look at the Talk Pro. Ooh, man. Okay, this is this is fairly solid. It's made of like a sturdy plastic of sorts. And there are a couple of buttons here and a couple LED lights. Now, it says on the outside of the package that it has four different types of mic ranges that we can take advantage of. So what's that gonna be? I'm not really sure. We could see that this mounts to just about anything as well as this. So we can use either one of these if we wanted to. If I were to some reason want to do it with this specific mic stand I use on my Shure SM7B, it would probably be perfect. Ah, now I see it here on the back portion. Here in the back portion, there's like a volume and it looks like G, I imagine it probably stands for gain. I'm just taking a wild guess, All right? I'm gonna go ahead and just set this off to the side for just real briefly here. And let's open up this next little package here. It's a USB cable and quick start guide. Okay, I was wondering if we had a USB cable. Ooh, nice. And the quick start guide is literally like one single page. Oh, and then there's something else in here. Oh, okay, so it's a tripod. Not bad, so we can end up putting this on to a tripod if we wanted to with either one of these things. I'm just gonna go ahead and just put it on with the stand here. Okay, so man, really cool. Sturdy little stand here. The fact that we can be able to put this mic or the actual mount to just about any type of mount is a big plus. All right, so I've got this set up right here and let's go ahead and get the quick start guide out. And I've got the cable here. It actually is wrapped up in Velcro. You can't have too many of these Velcro things. It stays on the cord. There's a plastic tip on the each one of the portions here. Now I'll lay money on it says that I'll probably end up putting this end, yep. I'm gonna end up putting this end into here and then I'm gonna plug this end into the uh, computer. Looking at the length, my Lord. That's, oh yeah, that's gotta easily be about six feet or so. I'm not 100% certain about the length on it, but it's long, it's got plenty of room. So now the question is like, how good is this microphone? Let's go ahead, I'm gonna call up my brother Walt and we're gonna see if we can put him to the test. We're gonna try out three different microphones and we'll see if he can pick out the J-Lab and give some of initial thoughts about this. So let's fast forward. All right, so dude, I just got this J-Lab microphone. Now you're, <laughs> you're listening. <laughs> right, J Lab. It, it, it's it's it, Jabron. It's, <laughs> Jabron. Right. Now, keep in mind, you're you're listening to me right now through the Sure SM7B. Yeah. I want to play a little bit of a test with you here on this okay. one here. Right. Um, in fact, let me go ahead. I'm going to do three different microphones. I got the Sure SM7B. All right. I've got my Movo Lav, um, which you know we've covered this in previous videos before, and then we've got the J Lab. 
I'm gonna show you what each one of these sound like, but you've got to guess which one is which. Now this has got a nice little handy little stand. I'm just gonna set it in front of me and I'm gonna write this down on a piece of paper so I don't forget this later yeah, on. Yeah, so I was gonna say, you're like naming all these microphones. I'm like, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> so okay. what are the, what are, what are the, so we got the J Lab or the yep. Jabron. J J we got the J Lab. J -Lab. Yeah, we've got okay. the Movo and we've got Movo. the Shure SM7B. Now, obviously, okay. it, you're, we're on the Shure SM7B, so there's only two other choices at this point. Yeah, oh, yeah. You know, so I, I'm just going to randomly pull them on this one here, and I'm just going to have you raw react to it and just kind of decide which one is which. Okay, so now I'm on one microphone. Okay, well, what are your thoughts? It's definitely, it's definitely not the Shure microphone. No. Um, Give me a sentence. Uh, today for breakfast, I had some oatmeal. I had an apple and I started setting up for this video. I'm gonna guess J-Lab. Okay, let's, let's keep going. Let's All keep right. going. All right, so next microphone. Okay, so now here is our next microphone. Wow, wow. I had for breakfast okay, today. Okay, can I, can I change Can I change my uh, decision? So yeah. the, first, the first one I'm gonna say, it was the Movo. And this one's the J Lab. Correct. <laughs> I think, it, the know, only the only reason being was it, uh, was because it, it did kind of throw me off because you started with the Sure microphone, so right there I know like the, the, I'm listening for that bass. I'm listening for that deep, you know that 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 oomph to to the sound. Yep. So at first, that's why when you hit me with that, I'm like, well, that could be the Mobo, and that could be the uh, or the, oops. <laughs> that could be the J Lab. <laughs> What's with our cursing today? Uh, so I'm just gonna kick up the uh, volume just a little bit here on the right. J Lab. So this okay. is this is at its peak volume right now. Peak volume so, or peak gain? This is at its peak volume. So I've got volume and gain on here, which is absolutely confusing. But if I went ahead and I kick this all the way up, this is gain at 100 percent and volume at 100 percent. Do me a favor, turn the volume all the way off. Okay. Let me go ahead and kick the volume down. Any different? No. So the volume is when you plug a microphone in, bro. Interesting. Huh. Look on, look on the look uh, our headset. Look on the microphone. Yep. And there should be the ability to plug in. Uh, uh, yes. Okay, so that makes sense. There is. That way, that way you could self-monitor yourself. So it's similar to uh monitoring using monitor on OBS. Yeah. That way you could plug directly in. So say you're not that recording software you're using or whatever doesn't have that ability, you can actually plug a headset in so you can hear your own voice to see am I getting poppy sounds and you know through your microphone or whatever without having to go back and uh watch the uh playthrough because lord knows i've done d tons of videos where it's like oh all right i think you know by now that this yeah is, that's the sure <laughs> that's the sure it's kind well, okay, of it's so kind of mistake hang on though you, you know you know what's kind of unfair advantage though is that you have the sure microphone right up here so right. i say that that to do the true test is you would have to hold it at the same distance as the yeah. sure microphone yeah. j lab talk pro what are we gonna go ahead? What is our verdict on this one here? Hot potato or not potato? Price point, it runs about 80 bucks over on Amazon. Sometimes you'll get it on sale. $78 to be exact. $78 to be exact. It fully retails, I believe, for $130. So it's significantly knocked down. It could be, you know, holiday okay. season. I would have to say this, dude, if it was $50 or under, I would say not potato. But because of that price point, I'm gonna have to say potato. This is hot potato, bro. This hot is one of the times, price point. this is one of the times the two of us are gonna disagree on this one. Right. I really like the flexibility of this because something that we didn't illustrate was the fact that you can change between a cardioid and omni uh, uh, directional uh, microphone yeah. right here. It actually has three, di uh, four different settings that you can actually. So just set it up similar on. to the Yeti, then similar to the Yeti. Very, very, very much similar. Okay. I think the features on it makes it really nice. Is the price point a little bit more steep than usual? Yes, but I got to tell you, I won this at Scene Seventy Five. It's like a generic Dave and Buster's, and I just got it for I don't know thirty thousand tickets or something like that. It was fun. Yeah. It was a great test. So what do you guys think? What did you think about this specific microphone? Hot potato or not potato? Do you agree with Walt or do you agree with me? Let us know inside the comments. Agree with me right here.